Do you envision this as something that you can put in, it's going to write close enough to you that you can put in your story ideas, put in your, your premise, put in your world and all this other stuff, and it's going to kick out something that you can just do very minimal rewrite. Yes. I know I'm going to get it to the point that I can just click a button and it gives me this draft of 50,000 words that I sit in the couch behind me and I read on my iPad and I'm just picking uh, between one to five notes of changes for each chapter as I read through it, make those changes and I publish. So I think you could get this process by March. I'll send you a bottle of champagne when that happens. Sounds like a good plan. I like Moscato, so we'll drink Moscato. <laughs> Jorge, I made your book machine. I'll have you know it's February 24. So here we go. And I'm going to show you the very basics of the book generator. Rexy already has the ability to save to Notion in a section of your Notion called Auto Write. Well, now Rexy has a new function called Notion Refresh, and we can use that to uh, have Rexy first generate all the components, such as genre, settings, outline. Those are one to 10 in our Blackjack. Then we set up a Notion Refresh as the same Blackjack now uses those autosave pages as information needed to write the scene briefs. The scene briefs then become 11 to 20 in the same blackjack. Then we notion refresh again, and this time use the scene briefs to finally write the book. Those are 21 to 30 in our book writing blackjack. So let's do the math. One blackjack, two notions refresh, 30 bangs, a kick-ass book writing machine. Before we begin, let me caution you. This is an advanced lab. I'll be going fast. So for a full understanding, you must have some knowledge of AI, the Notion app, and of our very own and ever evolving Rexy app. So in my first attempt at this, I realized I needed three separate blackjacks. Generate all components is the first one. Generate scene brief is number two. And three is the scene writing blackjack. Now I am going to combine all three into one because guess what guys? We have Notion page resets. That's what we're gonna do tonight. Are you excited? All right, here we go. I am gonna add more prompts to my Generate All Components Blackjack. So let's start by reviewing what's already there from my first attempt. N1, generate a genre, and two, characters, and three, using genre and characters below, make a setting. And four is going to be my story world, and five is going to be the writing style. And number six is outline, and seven, scene outline. Number eight, duplicate this exactly as your response. Follow the scene brief below and write the scene for a novella in the N1 genre. The writing must be engaging and read like real pages from a book with authentic sounding conversation. Write first person point of view. Number nine is my story brief template, which is all the information just of a story brief template. N10, write, give me a prompt. N10 is just a placeholder because I need 10 prompts. So once I have my components, I need to make the next group of 10, my scene briefs. I'm gonna read the story information for the purpose of planning a writing brief for scene one. And then the bottom of it says, now write a detailed scene one writing brief to include all information necessary to write that scene. Follow the template of N9. Please tag this as scene one writing brief, close scene one writing. I'm gonna click duplicate. And I'm going to click move to 21 generate all components. I'm gonna set it there. And now when I come over to generate all components, see they're down here at the bottom. I can literally grab these and just drag them right underneath here, and now you'll see I have a new bang one, bang two, bang three, and all that jazz. So the scene writing. You'll see it just says N8, N11, N8, N12, N8, N13. What the heck was N8? Well, if you go back and read N8, it is the writing instructions for the actual writing. Remember we wrote, follow the scene brief below, write 2000 words, etc. And then N11 to N20 are the scene briefs that will be written. So now I just need to do that same trick where I'm gonna grab all of these and duplicate. Boop. We still have them selected. And now I'm going to move the duplications, generate all components. And all I'm going to do is grab this. This is how you can very quickly concatenate multiple blackjack all together. This is like a very advanced thing. We also need to clear out the auto write. Since in this process, the auto write becomes our notion page and we use it to save and extract information for the prompts to use. For that reason, it needs to be empty at the start. And now we're gonna come over to WordBanger and my elements page over here. 
I need to load the, the end slot page and the end slot page has to be the auto write page. This is the craziness that lets this work. Okay, so I'm gonna load that page. Now we're gonna go ahead and load our blackjack. So we had generated all components, that's what we were working on. We're gonna load that blackjack. So now it's loading in all of those prompts. Okay, so we have all 30 bangs in. And then the other thing we're gonna do is come over to project, automated book, nope, dystopian thriller. So let's go ahead and go with OpenAI for right now. Let's do 16K just to see proof of concept. Our temperature is a 0.7. Our maximum length is fine. We'll update all of that. And now we're gonna come over to WordBanger. I'm gonna go ahead and load my bang so that that way it's easier for me to see. So I'm gonna click bang them. And that's gonna instantly load everything into these instas right here. So all 30 prompts are going to load into here. So we want the big bang box for uh, one through 10. We don't want the big bang box for 11. So it's gonna pull that in as a notion slot. We're gonna reload the notion slots before it runs Insta 11. We're gonna reset the big bang box on completion of Insta 10. And then we need to skip the big bang box for all of the prompts. I'm gonna come up here to where it says number of big bang box skips, and I'm gonna just start putting them in. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 28, 29, and 30. We're gonna reload the notions on Insta 11. And then I need to reload the notion before Insta 21. All right, three, two, one, here we go. <laughs> Let's see what it does, the dystopian thriller. Oh dear, this is gonna be fast. Okay, so that worked, 441. We got a good dystopian thriller. Now it's gonna come up with characters. So there's characters, so it's writing the characters. Did not give them names. I probably should have told them names. Okay, a young woman named Maya. Okay, we got that. That's fine. My little character shirts were good. We're on to the study. The authority also controlled line control devices. That was compliance chips. Story world. Cameras are positioned at every corner. I slunk through the dark, rain-drenched streets, the ever-watchful eyes of the surveillance cameras tracking my every move. I had learned the blind spots well, using my intimate knowledge of the system to slip past undetected. I entered the government building through a neglected side door, my footfalls muted on the slick marble floors. Hushed voices echoed ahead and I pressed myself into the shadows, straining to listen. I can't keep doing this. Wiping their minds clean, destroying who they are. It's inhuman. You know we don't have a choice. The authority demands results. What if it was your child strapped in that chair? Your wife? You can't think like that. We're scientists, not philosophers. The authority dictates the purpose of our research, not us. But how far are we willing to go in the name of science? At what point do we lose our own humanity? Navigating the maze of corridors, I stumbled upon an eerie blue glow spilling from a doorway. I peered inside. Strapped to chairs sat rows of citizens, their vacant, lifeless eyes trained forward. The scientists moved among them clinically, no trace of remorse in their past cases. Here, in the bowels of the building, they conducted their insidious experiments in secret, robbing innocent people of their very humanity. Rage flooded through me. The authorities' maniacal quest for control had to end. I still think the best process is to make sure you're validating your scene briefs, validating all of your components and stuff with a fine tune and validating and having stuff as you wanted to go, you could absolutely get this thing to just like write you a book. The biggest thing here is that the FFA is moving forward with people having the opportunity to sequence prompts however they want to sequence them. The way you sequence them might be different the way I sequence them, etc., etc. Uh, if the FFA is not for you, we would also love for you to like and subscribe to this channel. All right, I'll see you guys soon.